Welcome to Mr. Brandt's fifth grade everyday math review. In this video, we're going to be going over lesson 3.6, uh, deals with some fractions and some number sense. Uh, we're going to do some work with uh, the game Build It, and then we'll finish up with the practice section of the homework with some order of operations. So we're going to start with this problem, 1 fourth plus 5 six, and the person who solved this problem said the answer is 6 tenths. They came with the answer is 6 tenths. And your job is to explain how you know that Josie's answer does not make sense. The common answer that most of my fifth graders give is that you can't add the denominators together. And for this, the person just added the numerators together and added the denominators together. And while that does explain this is answer is not correct, I want you to think about it in a different way. Okay, I want you to think about it by looking at... 5 sixths to start with and 6 tenths. Okay, so 5 six and 6 tenths. If I was going to draw a picture of 5 six, we would see that five six is almost the whole amount. Now let's draw a picture and look at 6 tenths. kind of a bad rectangle. Let's try to make it similar size to this one. I'm going to go ahead and split it down the center here, which that wasn't very good either. That's better. So if we look at this, half of Half of this is about right here. So 6 tenths is pretty close to half. It's just a little more than half. But 5 6 is close to 1. So how could we have a fraction that's close to one whole and put something more with it and get a smaller answer? That doesn't make sense. So that shows that 1 fourth plus 5 6 doesn't make sense to have an answer of 6 tenths because how do you put something with something bigger and then get something smaller? So I want you to, th to think about those types of problems uh, using estimating and thinking and not just looking at the algorithm while well, you can't add the denominators together. For the second part of the problem, they're asking you to choose which build it cards are in order from smallest to biggest so i have um, five fractions for for both representing the the build it cards and we need to see if they're in order from smallest to biggest so let's start here with two fours and i'm i'm going to think of these in terms of uh fractions or excuse me in in, in terms of like being close to zero and a half or one so two fours Two-fourths is close to half. It's actually half. Three-fourths is bigger than half. So, so far, that's okay. Uh, Three-fourths is bigger than two-fourths. So, let's go out to one-twelfth. One-twelfth is close to zero. So, if one-twelfth is close to zero, and both of these are half or bigger, then this top part can't work. Okay? It cannot work. So let's come down here and see if these are correct. So 0 thirds is 0. 5 twelfths, it's close to half, but it's not quite half. It's a little less than half. Okay, it's a little less than half. 3 six is the same as half. 5 eighths is a little bit bigger than half so so far all of these are okay and eight tenths eight tenths is pretty close to one so this bottom section of cards is in order from zero to one and again i used estimating to help me determine the order okay now I would like to point out one thing up above here. 
um, the 1 12th and 1 10th. Both of those are close to zero, but which one is actually the bigger one? Well, with our, uh, with our denominators, the bigger the number, or excuse me, the smaller the number, the bigger the piece. So if I have 1 half, If I have one half, and if I have one third, so the numerators are the same, they're both one, but the denominator, this would be one half, one third, the smaller the denominator, the bigger the piece. So if I kept going and did one fourth, one fifth, the pieces would keep getting smaller, and so one-half is bigger than one-third. One-tenth is a smaller number, which means the piece is going to be a little bit bigger than one-twelfth. So these are one-twelfth is smaller than one-tenth. Hopefully that helps you on uh, think about some of the problems on your home link. And let's move on to the practice. For the practice portion, they are asking you, <coughs> excuse me, they are asking you, to put in the parentheses to make this number statement true. When I do that, I like to just start from the left and work my way to the right. So if I have 15 minus 10, I have to do what's in parentheses first. That's going to be 5. And then I'm going to bring down the rest. So plus 4 times 5 equals 25. On this portion, I have to do multiplication before I have to do multiplication before I do addition. So 4 times 5 is 20. Done with that. I'm going to bring down my 5 plus. So 5 plus 20 is 25. So that was a little bit easier because my very first number was correct. Or my very first parentheses placement was correct. Let's look at this one now. So 8 plus 6, this is a division symbol, divided by 2 minus 1 equals 14. Let's start with our parentheses here. So 8 plus 6 is 14. I'm done with that. So I'm going to bring down my divided by 2 and my subtract 1. And that needs to equal 14. Division comes before subtraction. So 14 divided by 2 is 7. Well, I can already see um, when I bring this down that 7 subtract 1 doesn't equal 14. So I have to go back. Now I'm going to try putting my parentheses in the middle. So 6 divided by 2 is 3 bring down the rest, 8 plus 3, subtract 1, and I can already see this isn't going to work, because 8 plus 3 is 11, if I take away 1 from that, that equals 10, so that doesn't work. So hopefully, this one works, so let's start here, so in parentheses, I have to do parentheses first, 2 subtract 1 is 1, then I'll bring down my 8, plus 6 divided by, and 6 divided by 1 is 6, because I have to do div division first. Then if I bring down my 8 plus 6, 8 plus 6 is 14, so my parentheses here works. Now, if that happened to not work, I might need to go and put two sets of parentheses in. So if you get to the point where none of your parentheses are working, try putting in two sets of parentheses. Hope this video was helpful for you. And we will see you in our next video.